Well, they say there's no place like home, and for Johnny Walton of Elizabeth City, that phrase rings true. Earlier this month, Walton received a huge honor when he was inducted into the Black College Football Hall of Fame. Walton was a standout quarterback at Elizabeth City State, and during his senior season, he guided the Vikings to an 8-1 record and earned all CIAA honors. He's also a former head coach at his alma mater. Now, he's recognized as a Hall of Famer. It was a great feeling, you know, because I, I didn't know people remembered so many things that I remember. Walton wasn't drafted out of college. He played in various leagues around the country when he finally got the news he had been waiting for. Big call on the phone. Coach Vermeer, Johnny come to Philadelphia, need to talk to you, see if you want to play for us as a backup. I had to take it because I wasn't doing anything at the time. Walton was the first black quarterback in Eagles history, and after starter Ron Jaworski was injured in a game against the Cowboys, Walton got his shot. Monday Night Football, Howard Cassell was an announcer. Uh, November 11, 1979, I can tell you exactly when it was. Long count, Walton. In that minute and 30 seconds, we produced 10 points against the Dallas Cowboys. I gotta tell you, Walton has a beautiful overhand delivery. After that pass to Charlie Smith against Dallas, then I could do no wrong in Philadelphia. I couldn't even go to a restaurant and pay for my own meal. That's how much they were loving me. He retired from the NFL in 1979 and then became the head coach at Elizabeth City State. My second year here, we went to the NC2A playoffs versus uh, Northern Michigan. The results didn't come out that well, but they, it happened. But in 1983, the USFL formed, and Walton left his coaching gig and signed on with the Boston Breakers. Steve Young played in one of those leagues, you know. I was rated over him. One of the best passers in the USFL until the league disbanded, Walton retired. He's now a councilman in his hometown, and he was a pioneer who helped pave the way for black quarterbacks. The myth, a myth that people were talking Back in the mid-60s, that the black quarterback couldn't think as well as the white quarterback. It had to be a myth because, you know, the last Super Bowl, there were two of them in there. I rooted for Hurts because of the Philadelphia connection. But I, I didn't feel bad. I didn't lose in that one. It was a real pleasure talking to Mr. Walton, and I appreciate him giving me his time yesterday in Elizabeth City. That's a really neat story, Brian. Yep. Thanks for bringing that to us.